Well, moving on to my door. I've got quite a bit of it here to do. And I'm going to try my uh, time lapse setting. See how this works. Heat it up, scrape it off, and grind it. I've been on this a couple hours. My battery's died, so I just went ahead and scraped it. You can see how much pain I got there. And uh, you can see my fender's really not lined up good here. There's a lot of Vondo in this area, so, and also this area. So what they did, obviously, was Vondo that door to the old fender, and then the fender got crunched, so nothing matched. But you can see here that this door's too low, so I'm going to have to adjust the door to get it all straight before I start filling up stuff I might just uh, once I get this cleaned off I can uh, fix the dents in it there's quite a few of them uh, I'm not gonna do anything about that I could get in there and take off the inside door and the window and all that stuff and then I'm out, or knock the dents out, but uh, mostly they're just little hammer dents and door ding dents. Looks like they might have something around here. It feels pretty good. 
run the door handle. I looked on the door handle, they're not that easy to get out. But definitely got uh, something going on here with the fender. It's way low, according to the cowl. So I'm gonna, I'll play with that one. I've got the other fender in real good shape as far as the cowl goes. So I'll just kind of fix my dents here. And I did start adjusting this front fender and get the door adjusted the best I can and move on. Well, I moved on to this door adjustment. It's low here, and if I pull up on it, you can see when it's just hanging on the hinges, it's three eighths of an inch low. dug around here I was able to get my kick panel off pretty easy there's a bolt up here for the fender and I believe that one there is for the hinge and this top one here for the hinge it's behind that dash so I don't know whether I can just hit that real hard with a hammer maybe I can knock it in a little I can loosen this bottom one up and pull it out but I've got uh, you can see that the metals rubbing here and uh, three-eighths of an inch down if I pull up on it really see it here but I can feel it move a little so it's too tight here at the top too loose at the bottom which I need to make it more of the same so this has got a real fairly tight gap here so I'm gonna have to move that fender forward And this door, you see there's a good gap at the bottom, and it's also sticking out too far here on the bottom. So I need to twist the door in. Uh, to get this bottom back in and it's got to be lifted up so anyway I'm going to try to loosen up some of them bolts and see what I can get well I had a lot of fun with that finally got it stripped most of it anyway I'm running out of gas but the uh, the door I was able to get it adjusted and I uh, had to adjust my striker, it won't go in anymore. But I got it perfectly flat here. It needs to go in like an eighth of an inch. I can't, can't get that striker to adjust anymore. I got a pretty big gap right here. It looks like they had a lot of Vondo on here and this apparently got crushed a little I beat on it yeah, I have to fill this and I wound up with a big gap here and the fender here on the bottom has got to be tweaked a little to go in but I got this bottom line good and straight and this I can build up from the fender this I can fill and I've got this back line real straight which is can't really do anything about it so this one's straight the top straight uh, the bottom of the door down there is hitting the panel 
and the bottom of the door here if I push it in a little it's almost hitting the panel so now I kind of got this all stripped off there's a lot of little dents right around the belt line there quite a bit of rust you can see some of the places where the old Bondo had went through or water had went through the old Bondo so what I'm going to do now is mix up some fiberglass and do a skim coat across that thing basically just to, to seal it from water and fill some of those dents I don't know, it depends on how I feel, whether I'll put another thin coat of Mondo on it or not. I readjusted this fender and I got the uh, yeah, the hood's still off. You can see it's close here and way up there. But here, yeah, it's close there I still got to kick it over some more but at least I've got this uh, I've got some gap here in the back of the hood so that's good enough well let me get some fiberglass mixed up and put on this it's starting to get dark all right there's my fiberglass completed I had to mix two batches to get it all on there it didn't go as far as I thought it would I'm not so much concerned about fixing dents as I am just getting it uh, the whole door a real light skin of this fiberglass and that'll seal all the rust I didn't really work here on the top or the bottom of that thing I just basically got this door I still got a I got a lot of stuff to strip here so I'm going to try to let this dry up it should dry pretty fast I put a lot of hardener in it and maybe I can knock it off with the DA real quick and that will show me real quick where my high and low spots are. Uh, work on that belt line. It looks like I've got it real straight with the, with the metal in the door. So let it harden dry. Sand it a little. And... Uh, then I can probably put a thin skin of Bondo on it before it gets dark. Yeah, it didn't turn out too bad. Got a few low spots right there in the middle. Right on the crease. You can tell it's a little high right there. Probably because it knocked it in and swelled the metal. But, uh... Looks pretty good for the most part. I think I'm good enough to throw a thin skin and a bondo on it and uh, protect that bare metal from the water. Every morning it gets a lot of water out here.